A top Jammu and Kashmir bank official has been sacked after ISI links were revealed. Intelligence sources have told India today, Shazad Bazaz has been was been embedded by the ISI. He was an asset of the ISI. He was part of a terrorism ecosystem, and he was a top bank official who was staying in in India. He is now being sacked from his post. My colleague Ashraf is joining me on the story. Ashraf, an extremely disturbing pattern coming to the fore now. Someone who was a top official, in fact a top banking official, someone who had access to a lot of documents, a lot of information. Now it has come to the fore that he had deep roots and deep links with the ISI. Ashwarya, it is not the first case in the Jammu and Kashmir. Since abrogation of Article 370, the Jammu and Kashmir government is... Uh, screening all it is employees all it is officers whether they have any kind of a terror link or any kind of a link with the separatists we have earlier also seen many uh, government officials also uh, dismissed from the services including some police officials also uh, in links with the terrorism or terrorists or with the terror funding sajad bazaz was one of the uh, known uh, figure in the jammu and kashmir bank from uh, years and in fact he was uh, holding some of the important portfolios for the bank, including the PR. And uh, yesterday, the managing director of the Jammu and Kashmir Bank has issued a statement where he said that he has gone through the investigations carried by the different security agencies and uh, bank itself. It was found that uh, Sajad Bazaz was involved in uh, the anti-national activities uh, with ISI and that is why he is being terminated from the services. Uh, as Ashwarya said, it is not a first case. There are uh, more than uh, 30 uh, uh, employees from different uh, government departments who had been already sacked from their jobs uh, due to the links with the terror groups or due to the links with the ISI or terror funding. Right, Ashraf, thank you so much, my colleague, giving us details from the latest that is coming from Jammu and Kashmir.